Now, in this section, we're going to do something that's a pretty common task that you're going to do in statistics, and we're going to do it with our calculator, and that is the topic of uh, regression. Regression is a, a big fancy word, but basically what it means is that you, you have your data and you've plotted your data, which are just dots on your graph, right? That's data that you've collected out and you know taken a survey or something. And uh, you can plot it, and with your eyes, you're kind of looking at the plot to figure out what it roughly looks like. Is it a straight line? Is it a curve? What does it look like? That's what you're doing with your eyes. Well, regression takes the data and basically tries to see if it can sort of be represented by, for instance, a line. And if can a, can a straight line be drawn through that data? And if so, what is the equation of that line? Because that's useful. If I can calculate an equation of a line that goes through my data, then I can then, maybe my data only goes up to day 10, but maybe I can use the line that I calculate to extrapolate even beyond the data that I calculated. It can be a useful tool to predict what's going to happen down the road because you've calculated, you've got the data, you calculate the line, and then you can use the line to predict. So that's the basic idea. Um, but it goes, this calculator can do things very far beyond doing a simple line fitting through the data. You can you can do uh, curve fits of different orders and other things like that. So let's start at the beginning. We'll go into the stat menu and edit our list. I'm not going to type anything new in because it really doesn't 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 uh, help us or illustrate anything more. We still have our our XY data. This is the day of the month. This is the temperatures that we've recorded. And the first thing you want to do is plot it. So we've already done that in the last section. We can go to stat plot. We'll go ahead and hit enter here. Turn the plot on. It's already on scatter plot. The X values are from list one and the Y values we've selected list two. And the tick mark is going to be a plus. So we go to the zoom menu. Uh, and let me actually tell you one thing. Before you do any of this regression stuff, do yourself a favor. Go in the mode menu and make sure you're in function mode. If you're in any of these other modes, then graphing these things won't work right. So once you've done that, go back to the stat menu. Uh, double check that everything's in order. You're in the right guy here. You've got the tick marks correct. Everything's fine. Link to the proper list for X and Y. You go to the zoom menu. And to graph this guy, you got to hit zoom stat number five. I mean, number nine. You hit that, and then this is the same plot that we got earlier. So nothing is different. We just plotted the X, Y values. Now you see what you're doing with your eyes. You're, you, you know, everyone looking at this is trying to figure out, oh, this is, looks like kind of like a curve, but it's pretty much a straight line. You could sort of draw some a straight line through here. Well, what is the equation of that line? That's what regression does. So in order to figure that out, you go to the stat menu again. You go over to the calc menu. This is the same place we calculated our variable statistics here, mean, median, and all that. Go down to number four. It's going to be one of the most used features of the calculator in statistics, linear regression, AX plus B. This, if you remember back from algebra, is the equation of a line. A is the slope. B is the y-intercept. So Y, you could think of Y equals, uh, usually you think of it as MX plus B, where M is the slope, but they just represent it with an A, AX plus B. So A is the slope in this equation. So you hit number four. And if you just want to calculate what this guy's doing, you need to tell it what your data is. And it needs to be two variables because it needs to be enough to plot X and Y. So what you need to do is just put the list in. So for X, it's going to be L1. And for Y values, it's going to be L2. So you put L1 comma L2. And this is telling the calculator, do a linear regression. Try to find an equation of this form that fits through this data that I have, where the X value is given by everything in this list and the Y values are given by everything in this list. And when I hit enter, it's going to be done very quickly. It's going to say Y is equal to AX plus B, A is equal to this number, 2.394, and B is equal to this number, 54.333. Uh, and so this is the Y intercept, and this is the, um, this is the slope, basically. The A is the slope here. So usually when you're doing linear regression, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to calculate the slope and the y-intercept so you can put together an equation that represents your data. But we also would like to graph it so we can see how that line looks in relation to our data. If you just stop here and go off to the graph, back to the graph, you're going to see what we had before, but you're not going to see a line. So in order to get that line back, go back to the stat menu and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go to stat, we're going to go over to calculate, we're going to hit number four for linear regression. We're going to basically put the same command in again. So we're going to do L1, comma, for X, and then L2 for Y. Now, if we hit enter here, we're going to get the same information that we got. Now we want to hit comma again, 
and we want to tell it to store the equation that it finds in um, one of our y equal slots over here in one of our y equal slots so that we can then plot it so in order to insert that you need to hit variable and then you need to go over one space to y vars number one to function and then you have a choice you can store the equation in any of these so let's just hit enter for y1 so here's what you have linear regression of this form these are the x values these are the y values store the resulting equation that you find in this guy so hit enter and on the screen it's going to look exactly the same you get the same information to write down on your test or your homework and if you go to y equals now you will see that this equation of a line is now put in there 2.394x plus 54.33 that's the equation of the line and if you go to the graph you will see your raw data and you will see that nice line that's going through there so you can kind of see yeah it looked a little flat here yeah it kind of popped up here but on the whole it does sort of thread the needle through through my data here it does somewhat look like a line and this line is very useful then you could say if you were trying to analyze this data that more or less this data fits a line it's a linear relationship yeah sometimes above sometimes below but that could be measurement error also more or less it fits a straight line very very important information the reason why the y-intercept was so high is because these are temperatures remember all of these values are high so you can see that this is going to cross the axis here at um, like what it says 54.3 so if you were to do that you would get that and when you trace you're going to be tracing your your guy right there and then if you hit the down arrow one time you'll jump to the other plot and this will be the actual line that you have here in your graph so you're not tracing your your data points anymore you're tracing the line that's been thread there between your data points so that's very very powerful linear regression is something that can take a long time for you to do by hand but in the calculator it's in almost instantaneous you should always try to calculate a linear regression uh, first because usually most things can be fit to a line now let's go over here and try to do something a little bit different we fit it to a line uh, now let's go over here and see if we can do a quadratic regression that's basically saying okay we're not gonna fit it to a line we're gonna fit it to a polynomial of the form you know ax squared plus bx plus c so it's you know straight lines are pretty limited they can only be straight but with a curve you can kind of get it to bend and maybe it can fit your data a little bit better than a line can so we'll put quadratic regression we will put L1 in here we'll put comma we'll put L2 in here so that's X values and Y values it has to know that and then whoops I don't want second function I want to put a comma and then I want to tell it to store the result in uh, in uh, our ver in our variable so we can plot it so we go over to function here now let's go ahead and overwrite it and click y1 so let's do a quadratic regression of this data x y store the value in this uh, y equals slot so that we can plot it so we hit enter and it's done and it tells us that y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where a is equal to this value b is equal to this value and c is equal to this value and if we go to y equals that equation will automatically be put in there so that when we go to the graph let's see what it looks like now look at that it is very much uh, a better fit the linear line looked pretty cool and it definitely seemed to fit but the quadratic it fits a lot better because you can get that nice curve out of it so that's basically it for linear regression it's a great tool to use it can take a long time to do by hand and there's other guys in here for you to explore cubic regression quartic regression they all get a little bit better as you go and i'll take the calculator a little bit longer as you as you go down here as well so play with it put your data in calculate the guy look at the curve see how it fits your data and it's a tremendous asset for you on the test